In every area of life, big things start small. And as you and I continue enduring in faith, then things grow. Hey everyone, it's Chris here. You know, almost everything in my life that now you see me doing started with something really, really small. I remember when I first started learning about the Bible. Now, this was before I could quote any passage. I started with memorizing one verse. So it all started with one verse. Now, I remember when I began to speak publicly, I had six young girls in a small discipleship group in my youth group. Well, that was my first bit of public speaking. And I guess if I couldn't cut it with those six young girls in the youth group, then I wouldn't be speaking to you right here today. I remember when I started writing books, well, you know, it didn't just kind of go, here's a book. It started with one word that went into one sentence and that one sentence went into one paragraph and that paragraph went into one page and that page went into one chapter and off it went and there it was. Over time, a book was produced. You know, to this day when I prepare messages, well, they start with one small word, one small word from God. I don't have the finished product when I start. I grow to where I need to go. So as I pray, as I study, as I research and read commentaries and spend time in the word, well, then the messages continue to grow. The messages grow as I start, you know, seeking God and as the Holy Spirit gives me more ideas and I develop the concept and I develop the thought, that's how I get a message. No message starts at the end. It starts with one word, one thought, one concept. Well, even when Nick and I started A21, our fight to abolish slavery everywhere forever by helping to reach the vulnerable and to rescue the victim and to restore the survivors, well, how did it start? It started with me responding to seeing posters at one airport in Thessaloniki, Greece, and then we started an organization and it started with rescuing one person from human trafficking, prosecuting one a trafficker and seeing them sentenced and put in jail. So today we see hundreds of people rescued and we put dozens of traffickers in jail. We educate millions of people worldwide about the dangers of human trafficking, but it all started with one. And can I tell you, throughout all of these years, we've remained focused by remaining focused on the one. It's always about people. In every area of life, big things start small. And as you and I continue enduring in faith, then things grow. This is why I love Zechariah chapter 4.10. I memorized this scripture right at the outset of my ministry. And in that scripture, the prophet says, despise not the day of small beginnings. Well, why not despise the day of small beginnings? Because the Lord rejo rejoices to see the work begin. So the thing is, what is it that God has put in your heart to do? Perhaps has he given you a business to start, maybe an entrepreneurial venture or maybe an invention to get the patent on or, you know, perhaps there's an educational goal that you want to pursue. Perhaps you've got a fitness goal that you want to pursue, a book to write or maybe a product to manufacture, maybe a relationship to pursue, whatever it might be that God's put in your heart. I've got great news. The fact is you can start right where you are now with what you have in your hand now. Now, the fact is a lot of us, if we're just waiting for the end result, man, we will never get started. You only have what you have where you are at this moment. As you take action with what's in your hand now, it's amazing how God will give you the things that are in your heart. Remember the little boy that had five loaves and two fish, five simple loaves, two fish. That was it. He could have been overwhelmed and said, Jesus needs to fill, you know, there was 5,000 men on the side of that mountain. So there was probably 20,000 people. If you include women and children, he's probably thinking, Jesus has got to feed 20,000 people. I've only got five loaves and two fish. That is the story of our lives, isn't it? What I've got is too small. It's only five loaves and two fish, but five loaves and two fish in the hands of a miracle working God are able to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond anything that any of us can ever ask hope or think. If that little boy had never given those loaves and fishes into the disciples' hands so that they could give it to Jesus, I wouldn't be talking about this story 
to you today. But the truth is he took what he had. He put it in the hands of God. God multiplied it and look at the miracle that happened. We're still talking about it today. Well, in every area of my life, it just started with the one. You know, you've got dreams and you've got desires and often people think, how did you grow a global organization? Well, it started by meeting a local need. As I met local needs and then I kept being faithful to the next thing that God put in front of me, then God did what only God could do. I often say, I couldn't have made up my life if I tried. I was just faithful to the next thing. And that is still the way that I do my life today. I do that. I am obedient to the next thing and I pray faithful to the next thing that God has put in front of me. It seems small to everybody else, but over the course of a lifetime, as you endure in faith, as you continue to be faithful, you know what? You look back and think, look what the Lord has done. A lot of us, we just give up too quick. A lot of us, we just give up too easy. It's just like we want the end at the beginning, but you can't have the end at the beginning. You only have the beginning at the beginning. And then you take the next step and the next step. I wish that today you would be inspired and encouraged to not devalue the small thing that's in your hand now. Do not despise the days of small beginning. You might be in a season with small kids and you're like pulling your hair out because you haven't slept for a month. But can I just say, be faithful in the season that you're in now. And one day leads to the next, leads to the next. One opportunity leads to the next, leads to the next. So continue to be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is never in vain. Your God is faithful. He'll continue to grow it. He'll continue to build it. Just stay faithful, endure in faith, keep believing, keep hoping, keep going, and keep trusting that God will make a way where there is no way. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. I hope you'll share your thoughts in the comments, and if you feel led, please share this video with a friend who needs to see it. Thanks so much for watching.